Hi folks, my name's Lizzie. I'm an instructor on Maison Sport. I'm Scottish and this season I'm here in Courcheville for the winter. So today we're going to look at three easy ways that you can improve your skiing by yourself. Do you ever feel that you're losing grip throughout the turn and your ski slips away from you? If so, we're here to help. Now the reason for that is often that our, our weight has just gone into our inside ski. There's no pressure on this ski, there's no weight on it. So as I go to do my turn, it can't bite the snow and what happens is it just slips away from me. You'll have felt this before, especially if you hit a patch of ice. So you can see here, it's really hard for me to get the pressure on that ski as the ski just slips away. The easiest fix that you can try yourself is just keep the outside hand low and just drive it down towards the snow and this will help keep pressure and grip over the outside ski so it doesn't slip away. As I set off, I'm just going to drive this hand down over the outside ski and I can straight away feel when I do that, I get grip, the ski does a nice rounded turn and it cuts into the snow. We're just going to put that into our normal ski now. We're going to do some medium type turns and see if we can remember that sensation of the body being over the outside ski and the ski gripping really well through the turn. Do you ever find that your skis pick up more and more speed as you're heading down the hill and you struggle to stay on top of them? Most often the reason for this is we set a rhythmical corridor but as we head down the mountain, especially on a steeper slope, we don't come around the hill enough, close the turns, use the terrain to slow down. We start to direct our skis further and further down the slope and we just start to pick up more and more speed. The easiest thing to do is to make sure at the end of the turn that we come right around the hill to finish the turn. We let our skis come across the slope before we start the new turn. So this means creating more of a C-shaped turn at the end of the turn. This run here, by just closing the turns off, I feel so much more in control and so much more rhythmical. So by practicing those C-shaped turns, you'll feel like on every turn you manage to get really good control. You use the terrain to help slow you down and that sets you up in the perfect position to start the new turn again, rather than the skis running away without you. Do you ever feel that when you ski down a slope, you get around seven or eight turns and suddenly you've got really bad thigh burn and you just have to pull in and come to a stop? The reason for this is that we back off the slope a little bit and our whole position comes back. Our calves rely on the back of our boots for some support and it means that we stay in this constant low squat position and our thighs never get a chance to come up and rest. I can already feel my thighs start to tire and then if you watch, I'm just gonna make that move forward. So now my thighs get a break in between the transition and it's much easier on my legs to keep skiing. So as we go into the turns, we just wanna make sure that we're not holding a static position. I'm coming up in the transition and then I'm getting low, up, low. This way my legs get a chance to move and it doesn't burn my thighs. Every transition I get a rest, I find the new ski and I'm moving with the terrain. These exercises today are a great way that you can improve your skiing by yourself. And if you want some extra tips and support, you can book a lesson with me, Lizzie, at Maison Sport.